y'all, it's Laura and I am back with Scrap Madness for day 11. And this one is a three photo layout. I do a mix of one photo and multiple photo layouts, but I really prefer multiple photo layouts. I love when I can get quite a few photos on here. And these are all three by four photos. Most of them are not the greatest quality. I'm still gonna scrap them. <laughs> That's why I print them 3 by 4 because they're taken with a camera that isn't so great or maybe even the forward facing camera which is really never great. And so I'm deciding to do some frames. The Indigo Hills 2 collection came with chipboard frames and a ton of them. Now I don't want to use all of these frames in this kit because I do still have some of this collection left. So I do want to save some for use with the other half of the papers but I do want to break into them a little bit. So I cut out some of these to use on this layout. And by some, I mean several. <laughs> There's going to be several frames on this layout. And I really liked the already created design in the background on this page. It all kind of lends itself to a diagonal flowed layout. And so that is what we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring the layout from the bottom left to the top right and use those frames to fill in the space in between and kind of give your eye a guide from one side to the other. Now, these photos are mostly of my daughter Chloe and she plays the French horn. She is brand new to an instrument this year. She's never played before this year and she has really impressed and surprised me at how easily she's picked it up, how well she's done and how devoted she is to practicing her instrument. She has been first chair all year long. That just blows my mind. I played the flute for about six weeks very badly um, in middle school. <laughs> so seeing her pick up this instrument, being so enthused with it and being so good at it, I was just really impressed. I'm just over the moon happy for her that she's found a little niche. And for those of you who are familiar, band tends to lend itself to uh, a group of friends. Typically when you join band and you stick with band, they're your people. And I think Chloe needs that. She's uh, not entirely comfortable with middle school having just started this year. And having friends in band seems to really make a difference for her. If I have any other band moms or grandmas, let me know in the comments below and give me some advice for how do you sit in those bleachers <laughs> through all of those performances and not be stiff the next day because I'm still working that part out. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring in some of these smaller frames. Now all of these frames are chipboard and when the actual photos, I pulled off the chipboard backing and it wasn't intentional when I was trying to pull off the adhesive, the chipboard backing just came off so they're very thin. But the rest of these, the adhesive came off pretty easily so I didn't bother tearing off the layers of chipboard behind those. Chipboard's fairly forgiving. It doesn't add too much bulk to your layout, so I don't worry about that quite as much as I would say flare or there's, some, I don't know, there's some other items, just very tall items that you might put on your layout that just stand out a lot and might gouge the page on the other side. <laughs> so I try to avoid those things. I like things that lay fairly flat and are, are gentle and soft and not too stiff. So I'm gonna play around with this for a long time and I'm not gonna make you watch that. <laughs> so here, these, this is where I think things are gonna go. It's still gonna move around some, but I spent quite a while trying to find a good mix for these frames. And I think this is one of those things that I really struggle with with frames is trying to find a layout where I can use multiple of them and it makes sense that it flows and that it doesn't just look so linear that it's boring, I guess. There's nothing really boring about linear. Linear is fine, but for me, I like to have flow. I like to have movement in my layout. And with linear, you just don't have as much movement in my opinion. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking these smaller frames and backing them with paper. This is super easy to do because they're squares. <laughs> so you just have to pull off that adhesive back stick them onto some pattern paper and cut around the outside and bam, it's full. I absolutely love doing that. So quick and easy and such an impact. Now those heart-shaped ones were actually the inside 
of some of the other larger frames and had a pop-out heart that was just like they'd filled in the empty chipboard area with a heart to make better use of the space. Well, I decided to use that piece too because I could just back it with pattern paper and that little heart stands out quite nicely. So see if you can do that with your chipboard. See if you can multi-purpose some of the pieces that are intended to be scrap. So this particular frame that I'm working with right now was a little bit larger and I had kind of thought that I wanted to put a frame within a frame thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure at this point which frame is going to go inside this larger frame, but I kind of wanted that layered effect. And I think I, that's just because I wanted something different. Everything else just has either a photo or a piece of paper. And I wanted something a little bit different for that larger frame. So I do end up switching it out for this heart. And I really, really like how that looks. And then I'm going to bring the little smaller, darker one back and forth, trying to decide, and this is where it's going to land. And I think putting it here helps to create that flow from the top right to the bottom left. It just creates a nice diagonal flow. You have different levels to play with. Your eye goes to the different levels and just is more interested in the layout because everything is not exactly the same. Your eye has to travel a little bit to each element and I love that. Using some puppy stickers and some cardstock stickers and just decorating inside of those frames. I also added a couple on the outside to help continue the shape of those frames. So I'm going to add a large sticker there and eventually a large sticker at the top left as well. Again, just to help keep that flow continuous and looking nice and smooth. A lot of embellishing <laughs> happens on this page and it takes me quite a while. I'm not sure if I was feeling super indecisive this day or what, but I tried a lot of different things and I left it in some of it because I wanted to give you some ideas how you could do things differently. These ideas were all fine. They could have worked. I would have made them work, but they weren't quite what I was feeling at the moment. So this is my title, and I am eventually going to put it right there and discover oh, that little L perfectly fits in between my daughter's feet. And I just love the way it fits just right there. And because it's not sitting on top of a white area of the layout, it doesn't stand out too much. And being bright yellow, it would otherwise. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and add that sticker at the top left. I found these two very small little flowers in the ephemera pack and I'm going to add a little dimensional adhesive behind them, not a lot. It's about the same height as the chipboard frames now. And that just creates levels of interest because those cardstock stickers are flat on the layout and then they have a little bit of dimension right next to them. I'm also going to add some dimension to the bottom of the title so that laying it on top of that chipboard frame it will be flat and level. Otherwise, it's going to sit rather funny. If it's sloping down, it's going to sit rather funny and it's going to look rather odd. <laughs> it also could get bent if it's doing that because it's wrapping over a chipboard frame, which is on a different height. It could also get bent if you don't add that little bit of added dimension underneath the bit. I am going to bring in some of these leaves from the uh, puffy stickers here and I'm, I'm not sure where this one's going to go for quite a while. It took me several tries and then yep yep there's the spot <laughs> that's a good spot for it and I think this helps to kind of create a cohesive feel like this group all goes together and for me that just made it feel like okay we're just extending the idea of this is all intended to be together it's not separate items just view it as one large piece. I will bring in some enamel dots just for a little bit of interest around the page. I am also trying to use up these enamel dots with this kit because I have another pack <laughs> and I don't need two packs. I need to go ahead and use this up with this kit and leave the other pack for my remaining papers and we're good to go. <laughs> Now, I'm not done embellishing yet. No, no. I go back and forth with the stickers. I'm intent to use these cardstock stickers because I really like them. And the colors, I think, really make the papers pop. The papers have a lot of that blue and purple and just a touch of the yellow and orange. I mean, there's not very much, but the cardstock stickers have a lot of the yellow and orange and help you kind of draw those colors out 
of the papers. I'm also going to bring in those little Prima butterflies that I've been trying to use. Funny, I didn't put these in my original kit, but I've now decided I am determined to use these up and in the process of doing so have completely forgotten that my product focus for this month was ribbon and trim. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I've used any of it on the last couple of layouts. Goal for myself, use ribbon or trim on the next layout. <laughs> oh, y'all, I am a little squirrel sometimes. I absolutely lose focus so easily. <laughs> I am so distracted so easily. And uh, if I don't write it down, I'm not going to remember. So Gotta get it, that product focus back into play on the next layout, I think. But so far, I love this. I love how busy it is in the center and how open it is on the side. So your eye still has that place to rest. But there's so much excitement going on. And heading into the middle, you, those photos just draw you in. And why do those photos draw you in? Because they're dark. The rest of the layout is very light and airy and low key, and those photos are dark. Having that difference, that contrast, draws your eyes straight into those photos. So now I've added some Nouveau Drops in Antique Rose and some Heidi Swap Color Shine. We're done! I hope you will check out our guest designer, Becky Bach. Her link is in the description box below, as well as Miranda, my cohort in crime. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, bye!